Good morning, and welcome to Caring for Me, Caring for You, a thought and a prayer for the week. I'm Greg Johnson. I'm the president and CEO of Greg Johnson Partnerships International, whose goal and mission is uniting the world in family caregiving, one group at a time. We're about to return to Bali to be working with our wonderful Stahadja group, and I look forward to that. But I'll be talking to you from there, so that's not an, that's not something that will ever stop. I love being with you. I am also a private counselor and therapist who works in the field of family caregiving, grief, addiction, and spiritual direction. And I'm always grateful and happy to assist in any way possible. Now, this week is a very special week. Today is September 8th, and on Wednesday, it will be September 11th. So what I've chosen for this morning are some thoughts and a prayer, a prayer that I love very deeply, that may help you as it helps me as I remember that tragic day. As I look at it, and as I remember, and as I move forward in peace and in love, and that's very difficult, I know. So this morning, I'm going to share that with you in this broadcast, and then I'm going to invite you. We're making a change this week. On Thursday, we normally have a program entitled Hymns by Request. Many of you know it because the response to it is overwhelming. We truly now are at the stage of having anywhere from 800 to 2,000 people around the world joining us each week, and I love it. It's the biggest sing-along I could ever imagine. And we're singing things that I adore. <laughs> Excuse me. Wonderful, wonderful old hymns. And by the way, if there's ever a hymn that you want, or if you want to contact me about this program, it's very simple. It's Greg Johnson, all small case. Just send me an email. That's what I do the best. Greg Johnson at gjp-international.com. Greg Johnson at gjp-international.com. I'd love to hear from you. So on this week, instead of having the program on Thursday, I've decided that we'll do it at 10 o'clock on Wednesday, which is September 11th. It's an appropriate time, certainly here in New York, as we remember the tragedy of those very hours. But I thought it's a time when we can come together with some very special hymns and with a couple of very special, very inclusive prayers. So I invite you to join us, share the word, and let us be together. Now this morning, this is something I have used previously, but I haven't used it in a very long time. And it's something I keep in my actually in my gratitude list book, because I like to remember, and I'm good at forgetting. So in case you forgot, you are a soul wearing a human disguise. Number two, you are here to remember who you are. Number three, what you love is the key to your purpose. Number four, your challenges are meant to trigger your growth. Number five, there are no mistakes, only lessons. Let's think about those. Let's remember them. And let us be gentle with ourselves today and always. Today, I want to share with you a prayer that is known as the Divine Prayer. I have to admit, it's one of the only prayers that I have paid for. But I saw it again and again and again on Facebook, and I said, I don't know this. I 
I have to find out. I love prayers. Prayer has been an important part of my life. Prayers from all traditions. And this one is one of the most inclusive I've ever heard. I pray it every morning and every evening. And I hope you will be blessed by it as well. Let's take just a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Love. Exhale. Love. Glorious source of all. In the gentle cadence of life's dance, from morning's first light to evening's soft trance, bless us with moments both humble and grand and hold our endeavors in your gracious hand. For the blessings we see, the joy, the laughter, the moments so free, and for those unnoticed, silently sown in the background of life, quietly grown. Bestow upon us the gift of your sight to recognize blessings hidden from light in the kindness of strangers, in tears that cleanse, in challenges that guide and love that mend. May our hearts be vessels overflowing with gratitude, void of any wrestles for the abundance you give both big and small remind us to cherish to honor them all grant us the wisdom to share and extend these blessings we receive as both giver and friend to amplify goodness to be your hands extension spreading love hope, and joy without apprehension. In the canvas of life, as blessings unfold, let gratitude paint stories brilliantly bold. May every heartbeat, each breath that we take, be a symphony of thanks for the blessings you make. And it is so. With deep gratitude. Amen. Thank you for joining me today. I wish you a wonderful week. A wonderful week of remembrance, of healing, and of movement ahead. Movement ahead in forgiveness and love. For remember, we are surrounded by grace, freely given. You are deeply loved. You and I and the entire world are children of the divine. Let us give thanks. And let us remember, as we always say, onward in love and caregiving. Namaste. God bless, and I look forward to seeing you very soon. Join us on Wednesday, September 11th, 10 a.m. New York time. God bless.